Hello and welcome. My name is Wahab Qureshi and I'm representing Inevitable Tech. I've been developing uh, for over 10 years in PHP and in other various languages and I've been a QA automation engineer for about seven years. Who is this talk for? Any developer who is interested in automated testing, who wants to expand their array of tools uh, at their disposal. It's especially suited for PHP developers because we had is written in PHP and any QA engineer who wants to expand their arsenal of tools, equally suited for. Prerequisites, Composer, which is a dependency management tool in PHP, and JSON. Objectives are installing Behead in a new project or an existing project. Right, let's get to it then. Uh, I've got my command line interface open in front of you, and it's uh, a new project called installing Behat. If I open my editor here, uh, you can see that it's completely empty. So we're going to do a few things here. First off is uh, telling Composer to install Behat. Then we are going to initialize Behat. And finally, we're going to give it a run without any test to see if it's working fine the way we want it to. So in order to install Behat, there are a few different ways to tell Composer to actually download Behat. Um, but the best way to go about this is probably to go to Behat's website uh, and ask them because you know the installation methods can change over time and they always have the best recommended way of how to do this so if you go to their page um, and they will have an installation installation section right here and they say the first and best method is to use composer and is to use it in this particular way so it says php composer far require dev behat behat now i'm not going to go into how composer works there. Um, I expect you to um, understand that already. So we're just going to go ahead and execute a composer command to install Behat. So composer require dev flag because it's a dev dependency, not an actual software dependency, Behat slash Behat. Press enter. After a little wait, you'll realize that it's basically pulled loads of stuff from the internet and downloaded it onto your machine. So what does it look like in terms of your project files? Let's have a look. Cool. So I can see that it's created the Composer JSON file, which has we have yet, Composer log file, and installed a bunch of stuff. What we're interested in is actually sitting inside the bin folder, this little binary here. So let's give it a spin. We want to run bhat. That's all we care about at this stage. So we're going to do a vendor, vendor bin bhat to run bhat itself. Press enter, and you'll see a bunch of red stuff as well. So red generally means not not good, but in this this context, it, it's actually pretty good. So it says feature context contact class not found and cannot be used. What it actually means is that you haven't initialized bhat to run in this project. Um, so let's let's do just that. Let's initialize bhat. And that is done by supplying the init command, uh, init flag, sorry. So press enter, and you can see it says it's created basically a bunch of files for you, um, which should appear in your project inside the features folder. So features, bootstrap, feature context. At this point, we're not going to look into what this actually is, but if you run the vendor bin bhat binary again, you will say no scenarios, no steps. And that is exactly what you want. At this point, your Behat installation is complete. Uh, when we started, we said that we'll be looking at how to install Behat in an existing project. And the procedure is exactly the same. You have to run that composer command. And if the files already exist, i.e. the composer files, it will still install in exactly the same way. You still run it uh, using the same binary location, vendor bin Behat. And you still have to run the initialization command to create those initial files um, that we've seen. Great, so we've installed Behat now uh, and we've given it a spin and it's not uh, producing any errors, which is great news. So next up is um, automating something actually using Behat. Uh, if you have any questions at this point, leave them in the comment section below and uh, hopefully I'll get back to you soon. Thank you very much.